lawyer allegedly provided the gun in murder of man accused of blasphemy in Peshawar, Pakistan. A lawyer has been arrested for allegedly giving a pistol to the teenager accused of gunning down a U.S. citizen as he appeared in a Peshawar cart on blasphemy charges. Tahir Ahmed Nassim was fatally shot on July 29th. According to investigating officers, a junior lawyer was arrested for, quote, allegedly providing the, a pistol to the assassin to kill Nassim. Authorities say the shooter, who according to the police is 17 years old, had confessed the, the, to the killing, claiming that the lawyer provided him with the pistol. How did this happen? The lawyers don't typically undergo a pat down before going into the court. And lawyers said that the arrested lawyer had discreetly handed the pistol over to the teenager. Um, U.S. officials said that Nassim was lured from his home in Illinois, in America, to Pakistan in 2018, where he was subsequently arrested on blasphemy charges. Is the United? Have I been missing something? Is the United States like? On government on top of this, I'm wondering why their citizen was just shot like in the court for blasphemy. Like, are they like trying to get? By the way, this wouldn't get the attention that it deserves if this person did it wasn't a U.S. citizen. But like, well, maybe not from. It would get my attention, but yeah, from the general media, you're right. right. Um, because for people who follow news about blasphemy, like I'm following, regardless of what country you're a citizen of. By the way, um, how, also ARN is saying it's well known in Pakistan. There's a lot of lawyers who defend uh, and stand and the blasphemy laws. Yeah, this is like this is how bad how bad crazy things are in Pakistan, right? It's not just a mob, okay? It's not. It seems like the. It's not just the thousands, millions of people in Pakistan that are just like, yes, kill these fuckers that are committing blasphemy. Like they are in full support of murdering anybody who insults my mom. It's also the people that you expect to actually be, you know, cooler heads, like the people in law, people that are supposed to be defending even the guilty, even though these people are not guilty. A, a lot of lawyers and a lot of judges and a lot of the police are on on the side of the murderers, the mm -hmm. mur the people that are violating the country's own law. Even though I mean the country's laws are not that good because the country's law is like, don't kill the blasphemers yourself. Let the government kill the blasphemers. Right? Let's have a like that's that's the that's the level of. <laughs> Civility that we can expect from the Pakistan's government, but even mm. that law that we already have, it's being broken, and set that law, the the law that is being broken in Pakistan is being celebrated not just by the millions of people in the streets, but also by the police who took selfies with this murderer. Like this person just killed somebody. The per the man was in court for blasphemy, trying to like defend himself against the judge. And somebody just went like, nope, no court, sorry, you die. And they shot the man in the court. And the police who came and arrested the murderer, they treated him like a hero. They treated him like a hero. They were taking selfies with him and like kissing him. There were like all these religious people who, at his arrest. And like he was smiling and the religious people were kissing his face, trying to get all that holiness from him because they thought like, oh my God, if the government kills him, he's going to be a martyr and he's going to see Muhammad. Let me kiss him before he dies. And now we see, yeah, it was the, the lawyers. The lawyers are also on his side. The lawyers, there are many lawyers that go and like, oh my God, like, oh my, this person just killed some, a blasphemer and now he needs to defend himself. There, there are so many lawyers in Pakistan that go offer their, their time for free. Like, oh my God, I will defend you. I will defend this murderer for free. Like, uh, because there's so much, every, the, uh, what, what the fuck, Pakistan? What the fuck, Pakistan? Like, every time they have a news on Pakistan, guys, the atheist activists and the secular activists in Pakistan, they are the bravest among us. Like, these are the, when it comes to the people at the front line of this movement, I don't even know how they managed to even, like, I see so many secular and atheist activists in Pakistan on Twitter publicly calling shit out. And I'm like, what the hell? Like, how are these people doing this? Mm -hmm. Like they and they know oh, oh, they know that they could be shot and the people will be celebrating their death. And they still go on Twitter and publicly like denounce things. Like, like 
guys, like, again, we need more support for the activists, atheist activists in Pakistan. Uh, by the way, a shout out to Harris Sultan. If you ever want to get more um, detailed information about this fuckery in Pakistan, nobody covers this crap better than, well, nobody that I know of covered this better than Harris Sultan. Um, so go check out his channel. He goes uh, over he the, has two the, channels. Uh, he yeah, has, one in Urdu. He has Har Haris Sultan. Har mm. Haris Sultan is his English channel. Just Google that. And he does yeah. Haris's House of Sin. Uh, <laughs> and um, then he also has his Urdu channel is right. the Pakistani Mulhid. So oh, okay. look that up. And yeah. what I love is that his Urdu channel actually has a larger following than his English channel. Well, yeah, um, it would. It he would. Um, is doing a lot of extremely valuable content. Abdullah Gondal also does really good content in Urdu as well. I think um, he visits Harris's channel for that. Um, this is th these people are doing the Lord's work. Like like seriously, we we have so much content. YouTube channel, atheist YouTube channels in Arabic now. That one, mm -hmm. like that market, has been filled with like that that atheist Arab atheist community on YouTube. That is growing rapidly, right? With the Urdu community now, we have Harris Sultan and Abdullah Samir with the Turkish atheist. Gondo. Gondo? Oh, Gondo, sorry. Uh, with the atheist uh, Turkish YouTube channel, uh, we have the Apostate Prophet now making um, anti-Islamic content in Turkish. And so that, that's happening. Well, wait, also, hold on. The, no, wait. wait the, not, as soon as it gets to us, you're interrupting me. This is sexism. See? There you don't let... I okay, cannot. No, I can't. No, okay, <laughs> and when it comes to... You know what I'm going to say? The next one? We're the leading YouTube Farsi. channel when it comes Farsi, the Persian, yeah. the anti religion, pro atheism, anti Islamic uh, YouTube channel that is in Persian. We, who's who's covering that market? Is we us. are. We are. Atheist Republic's Persian channel is leading that fight as well. So if you speak Persian or if you know anybody who speaks Persian, recommend that. Again, um, it's called Jomhuriya Bi Khodayan. Well, actually, if you look in the homepage of Atheist Republic, you can see a link to that um, in, the, in the suggested channels. We do also have an Arabic channel. That one is yet to pick up uh, and it's small in the whole Arab YouTube. Very like. But again, we're trying to work on that as well. But our Persian channel has picked up uh, and it's doing like we are like among the atheist world in the Persian world, we are very recognized. So ha you know, kudos to us right on that. Mm. Oh, well, in terms of Turkish channels, I also wanted to give a shout out to the channel that owner Romano is involved in producing. Ooh. Um yes. they I um Whatever is the Turkish translation of um, Atheist Association of Turkey, I'm sorry, I, I, I really can't save the word. Um, <laughs> uh, you, you should go look up that channel if you speak Turkish. They do a lot of really good content. They should uh, do, a positive profit and owner should have like... Uh, they do. Oh, they do. Oh, In great. fact, they already do work together. Nice. Um, I hate you say never interrupt Susanna, when she is speaking, damn it. I will. I will continue to interrupt Susanna, okay? And where are my simps? Where are my simps, god damn it? Why are people defending Susanna and not me, huh? Like, okay, I, I'm going to build a simp army for myself, Susanna. You'll see. It's going to be bigger than yours. That's what she said. Anyways, Farah is saying, if you were if you were to create a video game... With, no, okay, Farah, stay on topic. Oh, wait. No, it, it is on topic. Mm -hmm. If you were to create a video game where you were to escape blasphemy alive, Pakistan would be a difficult but di difficult level. Okay, 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 okay. That's a good, that's actually good. That's funny. Uh, Michael yeah, Sherlock had a r really funny tweet saying, like, I know people in Pakistan and Saudi who are open about their atheism, so extreme sports don't impress me. And I was like, yeah, pretty much. Okay. Um, Suha is reminding everybody to like and subscribe yeah, as usual. Thank you so much, Suha. And Mr. Chowmain is saying, Armin and Susanna keep interrupting each other so I can laugh hard. Okay. 
All right. Wait, no, I have something else I wanted to add. So you were talking oh. about like, what is the U S doing about this? Um, oh, yeah. I wanted to highlight. Um, so Senator James Lankford from Oklahoma um, recently gave a very moving speech that I watched um, about the case of Nassim. And um, he is issuing a, um, he introduced a resolution last year to call for a global repeal of blasphemy laws, heresy and apostasy laws. Um, and it's an eight page resolution and he's trying to get it passed in the Senate because the House of Representatives have passed um, a similar um, resolution, uh, I believe within the past two years. And he gave a very moving speech that um, highlights the importance. And I loved it because he's saying um, it is a fundamental human right to have a faith, change your faith, or have no faith at all. And um, that we need to be in support of the people of Pakistan and helping them repeal these laws and to put pressure on um, the many governments that impose such tyranny. Um, and part of his speech was about why is it so hard to get just these eight pages, this eight page resolution passed. Um, so I encourage people to go um, look up that uh, little speech by Senator James Lankford. It's um, uh, sponsored by Senator Lankford and Senator Chris Coons. Um, so I really, I really appreciate their work and I really, um, am looking forward to more U.S. government officials speaking out against um, these laws because it needs way more highlighting. Okay, listeners, thank you for joining us. Subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell thingy. If you haven't, I don't know why, what has, what's holding you back, okay? If you haven't subscribed to our channel, why haven't you subscribed to our channel? Explain that to us, please. Like, bell, <laughs> and also... If, you, if you're not getting notifications and stuff because YouTube is not telling people that we have shows because YouTube is like, oh, this person told us that they want to get your shows, right? They want to get your videos, but nah, you, we think is no. And oh, look, oh, they also hit the bell button, but nah, you guys are too controversial. We want to show them mainstream stuff. We want to show them CNN or cat videos or whatever. But even there are people are like, no, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, nah, we don't think you want this. They're like, no, please show it to us. We say to you, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, we think we know what's better for you than you yourself. So to solve that, link, there's a link in the description, uh, which is to our newsletter. So hopefully some of our, we could email it to you. So hopefully you get some of our content that way. Okay. So yeah subscribe to our newsletter as well and share share our videos because you know we do get demonetized that's an obvious on every one of our videos so f that but we don't care about that anymore <laughs> but we also get deprioritized and that's even more damaging to us deprioritize what does that mean that means we're not we don't show up on the suggested you know videos on the right and all that you know on the on people's home pages and that's how channels grow Unfortunately, we can't grow, so we need you guys to share our videos.